Okay, we're in Microsoft Excel, and this is a simple ranking exercise for beginners. So I've got my students here, and I've got their score. I want to rank them. I'm going to show you two methods. The first method will work in any version of Excel. The second method will work in Excel 365. So we're going to use a function called rank.eq. Now the number is the number you want to rank. So that'll be Alice's score in the first instance, comma. Then ref is all the numbers that you're going to rank this number against. So we need to select all of the scores for all of our students. And I need to lock that reference. So I'm going to press F4 on my keyboard to put the dollars in that range reference. Now, if F4 doesn't work on your keyboard, just put the dollars in as you can see them there. Comma. Now, in the last argument, you can specify whether you want the ranks to be in descending or ascending order. If you choose descending, then the highest score will get the rank of one. So we're gonna go for zero, for descending. And if I press enter and then copy this down, so I can double click on this green square to do that, you can see it now ranks these scores. So 95 is the top score. And if you look down here, you can see we have another score of 95, which also receives a rank of one. Now, because we have two rank one scores, we don't have a rank of two within our results. Okay, let's move on to an Excel 365 method of doing this, almost the same, rank EQ. So the number I want to rank is over here, but I'm actually gonna select all of these numbers, comma. And then the ref, again, is all of the numbers we're ranking these numbers against, comma. And then I'm going to choose zero again for descending. So the highest number will get the rank of one. So if I close the bracket and press enter. So the advantage of this method is I didn't have to copy the formula down and I didn't have to lock this ref range with the dollars.